Cool. Welcome to the show, my good people. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> based in Johannesburg, South Africa. Welcome to the comment section. This is a show where Dylan and Marcel basically make commentary on the news and the good things and the bad things that are happening in the art space in and out of Africa. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. This is very necessary, guys. We don't have this type of thing. So we're doing it. Cool. Welcome to the show, my good people. My name is Dylan Spiri. Welcome to the comment section. Uh, like I am going to say, this is a show about what's happening in the creative industry, the news, the commentary, the activities, the good, the bad. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let us know what we should have uh, on this show. Yeah. Cool, how are you doing? How are you coping and all that kind of stuff? I'm chilling, like I'm chilling. I'm work hectic, um, but I'm cool as a human being, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a lot to complain about right now, thank the good lord. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm out here. How are you? What's good. you on your end? Work, work, work 24 7, but we're good. Happy life, you know. Okay. Happy times, doing the work that was required. Mm -hmm. But cool, let's talk about this show's idea of the show. Yeah, so basically, like, it feels like we're in a space where there's a lot of creating of of things and people who are really like good at what they do um, and people who just like produce and produce and produce you know but there hasn't it's felt like there hasn't really been a space and who's like mentions like in numerous conversations there hasn't been a space where there's like criticism constructive criticism that is like not to say to yo you're doing this and you're fucking up and all oh, wow. But just I think as a people we don't we aren't open enough to like speaking about things honestly and openly, you know. Um and in future we will have guests so that we can get like other opinions in. Yeah. But in the pilots, it's just the <laughs> <laughs> Um so yeah, like is there anything in particular that you've seen that's been happening that you would like to commend or just like Comments. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean like I mentioned, the show is just a comment section, basically, like the comment sections that used to exist on the blogs and forums and all that kind of stuff and, and everything. Just a commentary and, and dialogue around uh, what's happened in the creative industry, the news, uh, who's doing what. Mm. But I think let's start off with the news. Start off with the news. So I think the first part of news would be. Uh, B Diamond, stylist, creative director. She's uh, now the creative director of Oposa Africa, which is a mobile company and all that kind of stuff. What is your thought on that kind of stuff? When I saw it, I honestly I didn't know what it was in the beginning um, until I like, was seeing more stuff about it. Um, I think that is really really great. Like it's I, it's it's cool that we have people who are working in those types of spaces. Also because it feels like it's not so commercial because it's like it was a very new thing to me when yeah. I saw it, you know. Um, and a lot of the stuff that we're used to seeing is just like everyone jumps onto the most commercial thing that's happening. And I think that it's really brave to want to be in the beginning of a thing that is not so popularized in our space especially. And like being trusted with that responsibility of like you're going to make it better, you're going to make it do the thing that we wanted to do. Um, I'm mostly looking forward to the work that will come out of that. I don't know what it is exactly right now, and it's okay to not know what it is right now, you know. I guess we're all being taken on this journey with B Diamond. Also, because like, she's a person who I really like, respect in what she does um, and how she does it, you know. I don't feel like she's one of those people who just like came out of the blue, like out of nowhere. Yeah. I know that she's been working, so like. Shout out to her for that, and I think like she's, I don't want to say the, the right fit, because I don't know what the 
the brand is essentially to like in its core but the fact that they've trusted her to do that big job for them is like it's really really dope yeah i think i think it's really cool because it's, it's a mobile company so phones and all that kind of stuff uh i saw some some clips showing some of the creators that she's working with and stuff mm-hmm. interesting to see I'll like see more, okay, what is, what is exactly supposed to do the collaboration, or uh, is it influencing the phone? Also, I mean, the mobile game right now is big, there's, there's people like doing stuff for mobile phones and all that kind of stuff. So it's interesting, how does she differentiate that mm. uh, with her work? And then how does she in, in, embed that work, like that aesthetic of hers into it and stuff? So I think it's quite see see creators transitioning in their careers and all that kind of stuff, and just being stagnant in one yeah. stuff. I think that's like a, that's the thing that I feel is important for creators as a whole transition, you know, because like the time that we're living in, like it shifts and it moves so fast, you it feels like you can't be in one place for too long. And that's not to say that it's wrong, but it just feels like it's maybe not the best thing to do for yourself. You yeah. Know? Um, I think also just because like as people, we need to like keep evolving. Oh yeah, so with, with the SARS activities, I, I interviewed someone yesterday, uh, Shade, for the Shade. Uh, she's there on the ground and stuff, she's speaking about how the SARS robbery, it's like a police unit that's been set up to fight armed robbery and crime, but they're doing most of the crime. Mm-hmm. So they, they are trying to dismantle that unit, and this is for the protecting in, in Nigeria, just generally also around the world, it's not being good to people and stuff, and she's talking about how People were protesting on the ground, and when she wasn't protesting on Thursday, they were shooting at them, right? But then the same day that they announced that this, this, this unit is being disbanded, mm-hmm. they even had to hire security uh, to protect them from thugs and, and the unit itself so they can protest in peace. So there's an organization called Feminist Call uh, that you guys should support on um, Instagram and everything. They're doing a lot, they're, they are literally raising money feeding the protesters, uh, paying for hospital bills, any jail people, all that kind of stuff on the ground in Nigeria. And I know like Yagazi, uh, which is by chair, a lot of photographers are documenting what's happening there and stuff, but it's literally just the police being shitty people and, and shooting at and, and, and really, like they harass you for, for little things. Like if you have a nice phone, oh, we'll pay us because with the police, otherwise we're going to jail. People are getting killed. I think it's like, I think like 80, 80 murders that have been, people just missing or dead or whatever and stuff. And this is all by the police and stuff. So if you check out on Instagram Live, you'll see uh, on previous things. I actually I, I chatted with her yesterday because I just needed to check on see what's happening on the ground mm. and stuff. And yeah, but it seems to be like really, really hectic on the ground there. And it's just literally just like asking the government to do something about this police unit. And that's about it, you know? <laughs> Yo, that's whack, man. That's so whack. Because it also just feels like. And I think it's like a, a thing that happens, that's been happening, that we're seeing is happening everywhere, is that the police actually don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know, like the police don't do the job that the police are put in place to do, which is so weird. But I, I do hope that um, things will become better, because I know before I, I logged off of the internet, I saw Burner Boy had like boards, like billboards. Yeah, there's a lot of billboards. And then there are more people who are participating in the, in yeah. the And the, my thing with that is that, okay, cool, there are billboards, but like, what is the actual action? Yeah. You know, it's still very disappointing that um, it, it feels almost like the governments in Africa don't actually care about the people, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's just like, but come on guys, we're trying to be better. And you're always like preaching to us about doing good and wow, wow, wow. But like, what are you doing? Because it seems like you are the person who's staring the pot and you're making things worse instead of better, you know? Mm. Yeah, I think it's men in power, man. Shitty, damn, men is, just generally as men in power, just men in general are just being shitty right now. And I think we're seeing that with, with how they're dealing with the whole situation. All people are asking if we have to man a rogue unit that you know is rogue, mm. but apparently goes high up also to, to you know in terms of the corruption and everything. It's generally in, in Nigeria, uh, and in Africa, in the world, and all that kind of stuff. I think, and, and I think the action is, is just the government just listening to the people. When are they going to listen to the people? You want our votes, right? So yeah. the governments need to change. Yo, those people people who are in government right now are really old. Yeah, it just feels like they should be on holiday somewhere. They should be chilling. You know. 
they don't need the stress of running a country because they clearly don't know what the fuck it is that they're doing. Yeah. You know? So I think as young people, I think um, kudos to the people in Nigeria, like the young people that we're speaking to on a regular basis. Uh, we we'll do what we can from this side and just other countries. I mean, things that happen in Cameroon, in Congo, all that kind of stuff. And I think as young creatives, we need to take more action and be more active citizens on that front. Yeah, yeah definitely. Our next bit of news is the Sianda Mbele, a good friend of mine, a uh, French designer, got his work jacked by Lenny Kravitz uh, for their piano. Fuck those people. <laughs> because like yo I saw that caption his caption was like oh African motif as well I was just like the fuck what you literally went and copied and pasted the fucking thing onto your piano you could have just called Sianda bro that's what I don't understand it's like, not even that expensive you converted dollars like <laughs> my nigga Sianda been doing this shit you know yeah. also I was at uh, designing now by Immersion Creatives with Sianda in 2015 yeah. in the same class and that's where I met him and I was just like yo this Pinda design shit is spectacular, it's, spectacular. it's very yeah. very pretty so I feel very like disheartened in a way you know because that could happen it probably is still happening where there are other people who are not as um, exposed as they I think the 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 least you could have done is reach out to Sianda and ask for the design at least or something, you know, or work with him and collaborate. Pay for, you know, like pay for something. It's not even that expensive to, to hire an African designer. We all know that. We are we compared to the dollar system and all that kind of stuff. I think we're good in terms of currency and just reach out and say something. But I haven't seen any statements out. I haven't seen any comments. They don't care. Like, you know. he doesn't care. That's how rude they are. They so don't terms, care. Yeah, like, you, you know, African Americans, you know, let's let's play nice together, you know. We are the same people. Please do nice. Hey. We don't want to end up fighting, you know. <laughs> but here we are. We're in this mess, like. Yeah. Oh, bro. So I mean, let's hope one day Sian can come onto the show and, and, and speak about what's happening. How like is, is are they compensating him? Are they promising to compensate him? Also, what is the role of like the community in that space, like? You're designing others, you the owners that owns their power in America. Mm. What can they do to help and stuff? And there's usually some sort of copyright suing that should happen, mm. I think. And yeah. They definitely should be. Like, it should be something, yeah. I yeah. hope someone who has more power is yeah. definitely going to or has already stepped in. Like they didn't even try to change the colour of the wood. Like <laughs> Not the exact same <laughs> thing, you yeah. know. That's like this disrespectful. Yeah. More than anything else. Yeah. Like I was born. No, definitely they, they must be really compensate, pay the person, pay Sian his money, you know, good money for it and stuff, uh, and hire him for more stuff. And also, I want to see all the other American celebrities that always say they are pro African design. Let's see them saying something about it, commenting on it, because we can't be jacking each other's stuff. Not in this day and age, you know. So, yeah. they so are researchers, y'all, researching people. Hey, research is key. Please do the right work. Uh, and I think that's about it for today, for, for, for into the news and everything. What's next for, for us, I guess? Another episode! Yeah, so <laughs> tell us what you guys are thinking, tell us what you guys want to see. Uh, we're going to have guests after this uh, and do this bi-weekly. Yeah, but thank you very much for everything. Email us on this number, you know the words to that thing, or email us on this email address. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, screen. <laughs> The bottom right here. <laughs> Just email Subscribe, us. email, <laughs> whatever, all the things like that. Is that how we should have started? <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I love YouTubers. <laughs> thank you. Ciao.